okay and now second part is okay everyone are asking one question sir how to explain your self introduction so by the time we may get a basic idea what you are what you will be correct yes or no so before that can you take a question yeah ma yeah oh. please please take the questions for next five, five two minutes, five, two minutes. yeah uh, my my question is so uh, for admin uh, it's okay for development you said uh, implementation so when they say what you implemented you said right two lines two lines for each of the application like incident problem change what do you suggest yes for incident management yes ma you will be explaining very brief in the resume you can't explain everything right we were see here so for incident management what you implemented loaded the data from jira okay made an integration between these two platforms to get the data okay and then created these many fields these many logic these many things so it's a high level overview and you can just also mention like the scope of the project like it went for three months or six months of project okay so like for that same client you did along with incident management you did so many thing, other thing other thing other thing created maybe 100 catalog items you did some automations in the catalog items so you just frame your technical activities in wordings saying i did this okay correct no? did i answer your question yes, and all of this in the agile method of developing that depends ma Ma maximum we will use agile methodology that is a preferable okay. one if you want to maybe uh, try something with other methodologies also you can just learn it and then just say we followed kanban methodology okay. then they will ask you what is kanban then they will ask you what is the difference between kanban and agile so you should be ready to face all the questions okay. then yep. right correct correct yep. So, yes ma, any other questions in this particular uh, resume part? Before I go and explain how to explain self-introduction and project. Any questions from anyone? Mrs. D? No, sir. Okay. Mrs. Mr. Yes. Alma, everyone. Miss. Yeah. I am not seeing the names, but everyone. Any questions here? In the resume part? Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. If we have career gap uh, more than three to four years, then how we can tackle it? Can you please speak little louder now? If we have career gap, we have career gap, uh, career gap of three yeah. to four years. Yes. Then, uh, then how to uh, how to tackle it? That means. Are you going with the real time ex real time experience? Let's say you have five years of IT career experience. Yeah. Okay? And then somehow. Uh, after five years, you got three years of gap. Now you are really no, no. At starting, I, I have a gap. Uh, educational gap. Huh? Okay, so let's say you finished your career, your economic uh, education at 2004. Yeah. Okay. After that five years gap, and then last three years you want to try with service now. This is what yes, right. No need to no need to explain. It. No, simple. They will say why why this gap came. So you can say I was trying to for some government jobs and all that. Okay. And uh, you can tell also like I was supporting some you know, family business that and all okay, ma. okay. See, this is very important question but it is there is no specific answer only how you can cover is if you are technically strong in that particular interview these and all will be ignored you, you are getting it yeah. so yes. let's say you got this interview went for 30 minutes okay and in 30 minutes maybe you answered if you, uh, out of 20 questions okay you you strongly answered 10 okay and uh, you tried maybe three and then you didn't answer seven still as you strongly answered 10 by the time they will get some impression whether he is we need him or not need him if they feel like you they need you they don't see all these gaps and why you went and uh, all these things can be ignored now. okay, okay. Fine. So, so if it is don't see all this just, sorry yeah. If it is, so if it is already established process, incident is already there, change is already there, what kind of implementation can we show? So see, uh, if change is there, problem is there, so the base image will come how? How the base image will come? Huh? Will it come uh, with the same compatibility or customization that how we need it? Means our customer need it? Yeah. No, right? So. So whatever the customer needed we will be customizing it today maybe we they may come up with see here okay so let's say change management is there they are coming up with say create a new field called downtime okay 
so create a downtime and then once they check the downtime selected then just give some space okay one more field to mention how much is the downtime by default the downtime is not there so now you are going to create two fields okay true or false field and the text field then you create a ua policy okay and then you may create one more uh, notification if the downtime is selected and then saved then send a mail to maybe someone who is implemented the change see one by one one by one one by one will come the definitions will be added so for everything what who will do all these things see, don't see every time like a new fresh implementation fresh implementation mainly they will come when it is in operations correct we have a big platform okay where many people are using these common applications okay tomorrow they may need something they may not need something so all these new things operational things will be done by us only yes sir correct yeah good next any question ma last question yes sir i have one question Yes, uh, we need to mention our uh, product in detail in the uh, resume. Right? So for the detailed ex explanation, uh, we need a base, a strong uh, and and uh, looks like a genuine project. No? So see, names are not required. Man. When it's a genuine project, no project company name, you can just mention a pharma based company, okay, finance based company, something you can mention it, okay. But what content you keep under that is very important. See here, uh, if we see here, I don't care about these two lines. Ma. Generally, when I interview a person, I don't see this one. Okay, but what I see is what his what his contribution in this six months of time. So this 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 selected lines is giving that information. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes, yes or no? So here. After reading this one, how you are understanding? He is more into process support. That too, not development of service now also. He have some incident management tool or something, reporting, cab meetings and all. He was part of a team where it's more non-technical. This is what it is. Um, but uh, he did not mention anything about, I mean, uh, about his uh, project, I mean, functionality of the project now, sir. What are the content? That's, uh, what, my point. That's what my point is. That's what my that is um, that is my point also. So how I am getting impression by this line is this one. So how it can be is okay. Let's say I that's what I said. Okay. So let's say I okay. Let's say the same project. Okay. If maybe what an interviewer will be or like how it will be more effective. Okay. Is instead of mentioning like this. So see here. Okay. Just give me a second. So during the six months of time, okay, maybe I'll write like this, okay. So implementation, okay, let's say incident management implementation, okay. As part of this implementation, I did this, 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 okay, and then created, okay, 70 catalog items close to you can just approximate mine, no need to give you can say around you can use that word around 70 catalog items, okay. Uh, with defined workflows okay okay and among them created okay uh, up to five automations like okay user administration okay adding user to group okay group membership or like group management so blah 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 okay and uh, involved in okay change management enhancements okay uh, change management and, and uh, configured okay 10 notifications okay something 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 okay five business tools so Right now, now, okay, maybe configured LDAP integration, okay, or maybe configured L, uh, integration with Jira to get the incident data. What you know, you are framing it, you are making use of them, you are getting advantage from that concepts that you are you already know, okay, Jira integration to retrieve, okay, incidents, okay. 
and create created a okay instead of created okay handled our data source import set transform map okay to load the data from external third uh, from uh, other sources of the project okay so then part of agile methodology okay uh, lead track lead okay and uh, have the meetings okay like attend attend the uh, meetings like stand ups okay review calls customer review calls okay client meetings manager meeting all this so we just enhance it okay sorry ma oh to be at story management agile method okay so see how every see many of the lines that i written here you know it correct this is what we covered as part of our training maybe you are not 100% confident to speak but you know yes, it sir. so if you have a resume like this it is more like you are exactly hitting it but if you keep like this you need to explain what you did it and again it is not clear so the resume should be like this when you are explaining a project what you did for that project that is very important so what you know try to frame like this and then when you are writing it your mind will tune okay i written this one then why what are the things i need to keep here i said i did 70 catalog items for six months of time that means for release maybe three or four okay create or enhanced so then i need to say my mind will say if they ask some question here what i need to answer okay maybe created so yeah you will be answering so from now only you are preparing for interview when you are writing it okay the blunder many people will do is copy paste okay there also they don't get time okay if, if i ask someone to prepare a resume and then give by end of the day there also they copy paste and then just to send it even the resume name also they don't properly give the resume name should normally give okay the person name underscore okay what uh, technology is belongs to like sk underscore fax sk fax is my name sk fax underscore service now underscore okay maybe 10 years experience okay underscore lead somehow we need to follow those kind of naming standards of resume also at least they will give resume underscore one resume space bracket one okay even they don't give name also you are understanding it mm. so all these things will give wrong impression and also it gives the maturity like this is what uh, this is what the candidate maturity even don't know how to pre prepare a resume also so you have okay uh, not commenting it but you are getting the sense of it right what is the expected one uh, yes sir for example a uh, interviewer asked like okay explain me about your pre previous project then uh, we need a basic story to connect all these things no sir like for example it is quality related to this thing and uh, we did uh, like uh, we need a connecting yeah connecting so that would be my next point actually okay self introduction as well as project explanation i will cover it now but i'm yes the, i will answer that question. okay so he see here for that to answer also if you have the lines here, it makes it more easier, correct? Mm. Is that correct or not? So if you have this content or if you have this content, which is good, no? You can simply read it. That is also a project description. Correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes. You see? Yeah. Okay. You are getting it. So, yeah. Now, any question till this point? Yes, no, no. Okay, see.